Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beam Toyota in Nashville. Um, wanted to go over something that a lot of you guys have asked about, and it was about the tow haul mode in the Tundra. So um, Sequoia should be the same thing as well, um, but uh, Toyota's going to this in a lot of the trucks, so I would even suspect the new Tacoma would be very similar to this as well. So tow haul mode actually has two modes. It's not just one. It's tow haul, tow haul plus, all right? So two modes, they do different things there's different reasons to be in both of them I'm gonna go over the why and we're gonna kind of talk about that so first off how do you put it into tow haul mode and what else can that mode do we're gonna take a look here so first off if you look down here on the center console you're gonna see your drive modes and your tow haul modes first off what are your drive modes we'll kind of talk about that if you look here and I turn the drive mode you can see it's sport normal eco it turns those most people know what those drive modes are that's not really a shocker right but uh there's if you have the air ride suspension on the back here you're going to also get comfort sport s mode sport s plus mode and then your custom modes would also be up there but that right there is how you change that so how do you get into tow haul it's right beside it you hit tow haul here you're seeing it's coming back over you're telling the vehicle that you expect to be hauling right so if you look here you can see that you also got two modes tow haul tow haul plus i will mention too that if you have the start stop system putting on tow haul mode will disable the start stop system so it won't stop at a uh, at a light something like that it won't shut off if you have the uh, uh, that start stop system engaged all right so if, if that's something you watched for it's not gonna happen so anyway but you saw that i had when i switched here i have two modes tow plus and tow all right so what's the difference why should you use it and when should you use it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually show you guys something that most people have never seen it's a page from your owner's manual all right, this is actually page 209, right? I got it highlighted here. So I wanted to kind of put that out there just because uh, if you if you knew how many vehicles we get back that people trade in that still have the wrap around the owner's manual, it would probably shock you. Um, but it, it is what it is, right? So um, mine's still wrapped up too, by the way. Um, I just go online and I look at what I want. But anyway, so this talks very, very good about what tow haul mode is and when you should use it, right? So um, it says uh, from, from the owner's manual. So this is from Toyota, right? So use tow haul or tow haul plus mode when pulling a trailer, hauling a heavy load, and it says activating tow haul or tow haul plus mode changes the, in, or sorry, changes the engine, transmission, and steering to be more suitable when pulling a trailer. So basically, you're gonna be allowed to get to a higher RPM before it shifts gears. You're gonna be, uh, the steering, it's, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, feel a little bit different for obviously helping you pull a trailer as well. And then your uh, transmission, like I said, the gears are different. And then your, your engine RPMs, you're probably not gonna go into eco mode, anything like that. Like I said, your start stop mode will be disabled at that point. So um, there's, so anyway, so you've got, it says the tow all indicator will come on. Um, and then it says you can um, uh, turn it, you know, press it again, turn it back off, right? So if you wanna turn it on, turn it off, just press it or press it again or hit that drive mode button. I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, so it says you can turn it between tow haul, tow haul plus modes, of course. So when more power, so this is from Toyota, when more power is needed than it is available in tow haul mode, use tow plus mode very easy how does it feel if it feels like you need more power go to tow plus if you're towing something that feels like it needs it more to go to tow plus and your indicator will tell you which one you are in right so um it said it'll be uh deactivated obviously if you go into four wheel drive and four wheel low it deactivates tow haul you should be a tow haul and four wheel low anyway um or when driving in multi-terrain select of course um it will also disable it so what's the difference so when should you use tow haul? When should you use tow haul plus? Well, obviously they already said when you feel like you need more power, but they define that just a little bit further. All right, so it says that um, it's recommended to use one or the other based off of the weight of the trailer to be towed. So if you are towing a trailer that weighs less than 5,000 pounds or 2268 kilograms, um, if you're across the pond, um, then you should be using tow haul. Switch to tow plus 
when you are towing a trailer that weighs more than 5,000 pounds or that same 2268 kilograms. So, and that's, that's from page 210 of the, the owner's manual, of course. So basically easy, 5,000 pounds up or down, you, you want to be in, in tow haul plus, or if you, you know, you might be pulling 4,000 pounds, but you feel like you need a little help, go to tow haul plus. It doesn't say you can't go into it less than 5,000. It just says that you should be into it if you're over 5,000. I would venture the guess that you would probably cost yourself a little bit of fuel economy in the tow haul plus because you're going to get to a, an even higher RPM before you shift the transmission just to make sure that you're getting all the power that you need, of course. So tow haul, tow haul plus. You'll also notice when you have it in tow haul, you'll have this up here where it'll say tow haul. It'll also, as you switch it, you go to tow haul plus, that same thing will switch to tow haul plus as you go up there, right? So, and then if you're looking down here, like I said, if you want to hit that button, you can turn it off, it'll go back to drive mode. Or if you're in tow haul and you just hit the drive mode button, you'll go out of tow haul mode. So no matter what you're trying to do, you should be able to figure it out. Um, easy, easy answer. If it feels like you need more power, switch into tow haul mode, right? So um, now I will mention that I've had people say before, well, what if I'm towing a 4,000 pound trailer and I have, you know, a, a thousand pounds in the bed of the truck. So say you got a bunch of wood or something like that in the bed of your truck, and you think it's about a thousand pounds and then you've got a trailer behind you that's 4,000. You can go to Tow Hall Plus. Like I said, there's nothing that says you can't go to Tow Hall Plus. Judge it by how much power you feel you need to go into or out of Tow Hall Plus. Feel it out, right? There, you can't. It's not something you can't undo. If you feel like it's it's you know not right for what you're trying to do, undo it. Very very easy. But um, hopefully that helped you guys to understand the difference between Tow Hall, Tow Hall Plus. But uh, and some of your drive modes really. So I'll give you a little bonus there. But Steve Welch, Bima Toyota, uh, definitely you guys reach out to me if you're looking for anything. Uh, I'm always happy to help you. Uh, feel free to email me at buyatoyotanashville at yahoo.com. Buyatoyotanashville at yahoo.com. And uh, tell me what you think. We'll talk to you guys soon. You guys have a good day. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.